Okay, so I have been doing things, uh, even though I haven't done a video for a couple of weeks. I've been machining up these viewports. I've made one. Uh, they take a bit of a, a bit of a while to do. Um, I'm doing the welding the end rings onto the battery pod caps. So I'm going to finish that off in a minute. <clears throat> I put a snazzy new curtain top. This is to separate the mess messy area from the sort of semi clean area. And it means they don't have to worry about the dog too much when I'm welding. And we carry on with the um, with machine of viewports. So, uh, I've got to start on the ball. <clears throat> right, so I'm doing this slightly different uh, to how I, did, how I did the other one. This is uh, not to dimension yet, this. So what I'm actually doing is I'm going to turn the ball down to just ever so slightly more than dimension, which is 41.5. So I'm just going to turn to, say, 42, and then I'm going to finally... Um, just take the remaining bit off this surface here. That is, is easier, I think, for me because it means I can concentrate on getting a good surface finish and I can go turn up to a shoulder all in one nice neat pass. And um, that's just uh, how I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, I've got the micrometer bed stop on there and I've got the clutch set, so it's almost uh, fully automatic, kind of. So you can see I've done uh, I've done my final pass. I'm doing it just in stages. So I've done that bit, done that bit. So I'm just going to complete this little bit here. So I've been at this all day um, and I've tried all various different combinations of speeds and feeds and really I feel as if I should be going in more aggressively with this uh, carbide tool but the trouble is if I do then it, it, it starts to chatter and this, this creeps around and they end up cutting the taper so I've found I've, I've dared to go up to what my 103 rpm which is as quick as I dare go and I'm doing a one mil depth of cut which is deeper than I was doing before so this is about the best I've got it so far I think and it creates these horrible chips well it's not it's not breaking the chips properly so um, which is because I because I don't think I'm taking an aggressive enough cut but
is the final pass going in. I went for a paranoia to 11.9, just in case, you know. Right, uh, it's a bit awkward. So I have here, I've got, it's absolutely almost on 212, but I think it's 211.9, 211. so close we'll call it 212 right but now i'm not at dim dimension here because um now i haven't got one of those proper uh depth micrometers so i have to do it like this that's 42.2 and it's supposed to be 41.5 which means i just have to take a tickle off of this because this i've got plenty left on this this is 64.8 and it needs to be 61.5 so I'll take that a little bit off that so that that is to dimension and then I'll just spin it over and take the rest off the other side right I'm gonna have to clear up now this is taking me all day right so this one is uh, complete as you can see uh, it's on the inside as well um, and this one I've got a bit more to go yet, but I'm letting it cool down. Come on then. Go to the workshop. Let's go to the workshop. Workshop.